Well, the Category 5 storm is showing no signs of weakening as it now moves on to its next target. Good evening to you. I'm Jessica Dean. And I'm Yuki Washington. Irma has already left a trail of destruction across the Caribbean. Take a look at these images from the island of Barbuda in the eastern Caribbean. The storm caused major damage there. Antigua and Barbuda's Minister of Foreign Affairs says the destruction is upward of 90%. And you can really get a sense of the power of the storm from this video taken in St. Martin. This is from Maho Beach, which lies adjacent to the island's airport, which is known for planes taken off and landing within meters of the sand. Reports are the airport has been destroyed. Irma is also bearing down on Puerto Rico. Many there have heeded the governor's warning to stay inside until the storm passes. Hundreds of thousands are without power, tens of thousands without water. We go now to meteorologist Kate Bilo with an update on Irma's track, and it's just been released, this newest update, Kate. That's right, Jessica. We just got this update a few moments ago, and Irma has maintained its strength over 24 hours now with sustained winds of 185 miles per hour, longer than any other hurricane ever on record in the Atlantic or Pacific basins. You can see Irma right now. There's the eye just north of Puerto Rico. Very, very large storm as well. Still a very strong Category 5 hurricane, and it's not going to encounter much resistance as the storm continues to push west. Sea surface temperatures are very warm north of the Dominican Republic and Haiti, and we also have very little shear in this environment. Not a whole lot out there that's going to be able to weaken this storm as it barrels toward the United States. Take a look at the storm right now. We're starting to see a little hint that this may be undergoing what we call an eye wall replacement. Sometimes the storm weakens briefly. No sign of it doing that, but you can see the convection around the center of the storm. The worst of it has just started to push north of Puerto Rico. The eye will pass north of the Dominican Republic. Not a direct hit there. Although the outer rain bands and some very strong winds, especially for the northern coast, anticipated through tonight. And this storm continuing that west northwest push as we move through tonight and into tomorrow. So it's a category five, like we said, maintaining that 185 mile per hour strength that makes it in the top five strongest landfalling hurricane ever recorded. Pressure now at 916 millibars and again moving 16 miles an hour to the west northwest. We expect the storm to stay a category five through Friday night into Saturday as it moves through the southern Bahamas, then starting to make that turn to the north. And here is the latest track predicting a landfall just south of Miami as a major category four hurricane late Saturday or early Sunday, then possibly moving back into the waters of the Atlantic and making a second landfall along the coast of Georgia or South Carolina. And that would be early next week, possibly as we head into Monday. But it, all odds are now that a major category three or four hurricane will make landfall along the coast of the United States. It would be the first major hurricane landfall in Florida since Wilma back in 2005. There is still model spread, though. You can see the cone of uncertainty here.